All right, this is SIG test three. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It means I have to do what's inside the parentheses first, and then any exponents. Then I do multiplication and division from left to right, and then addition subtraction. So when I look at this, I go, oh, there's parentheses that have something inside. So I must do what's inside first, and then when I'm inside this little spot, I look and I go, oh, I must do the exponent first. So that's 2 squared, which is 4. So it's 6 minus 4, which is 2. Well, there's still multiplication here because that's what that is right here. So here's my 2 down there. Do what's inside. So that's negative 2, and then I squared it because I did the parentheses first. I subtracted it inside, and then I squared it, and that's how I got the 4. And then um, 4 times that gives me the negative 8, and 4, negative 4. A lot of people got this one right, so I'm not too worried about this one. Plug in the negative 4 for both x's. I must square it first, so that gives me a big fat 16, and then 16 times the 3 gives me the 48. Negative times negative makes that a positive. That's where most people made their mistake, and you got 32. So add them together, you get 64. Perimeter is the distance all the way around. Perimeter is the distance all the way around. Since that's an x squared, this is x and x and x and x and x, x and x. Since this is a y squared, that has to be y, and this must be y, so therefore this is y. So x times y is xy. And I just add them together. Just count them up. That's how I got six of them. There's four of the y's, and there's one, two, three, minus one. That's how I got the two. Area is just um, combine all the like terms. And then... Find three consecutive odd numbers. Odd number. I picked 11. The next one is 13. The next one is 15. And that said sum, so you just add them all together, and there it is. And guess 17 next, and there it was. Combine like terms. I didn't see anybody miss that one. So I'm not going to go over it. You're just adding the ones that are alike. Base is 26, same as that guy, times 10 gives me the area of that rectangle. Base times height, so this is 14 and that's 10. 14 times 10 divided by 2 gives me the 70. And then combine them together, you get uh, 330. This one should be a quick and easy, base times height divided by 2. Base times height divided by 2. And Combine like terms, Add, uh, subtract 7 from both sides, divide by 2. I checked it by plugging in the negative 6 for all the x's, and it came out to be a true statement, so therefore I knew I did it right. Distribute that negative to the 2x and to the 6, and then combine like terms, combine them. And subtract x, add 14 to both sides. 4 birds every 25 minutes. So how many birds in 120 minutes? And it was about 19. So I've got here um, 3 being added each time. So I took 3 away to get this guy. So since it's 3 being added a whole bunch of times, that's a 3x. And then the plus 2 is this guy right here. Then I have plug in the 100. So 100 times 3 is 300 plus the 2 is 302. F of negative 3 means take negative 3 and plug it in for the x's. Most people substitute that correctly. You did this part wrong. You didn't do the exponents first. Still order of operations. You have to do exponents before you do multiplication. So that's a 9 times negative 2. So that's negative 18 minus the 12 minus the 1 is negative 31. Almost everybody got this guy right. All you do is plug in an x. 0 times negative 2 is uh, 0 plus 4 is 4. Plug in 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus 4 is 2. You just keep doing that and plot the points. Remember you go x 
plus 3, and then the y is negative 2, so you go down 2. No problem, more people missed it. It's the same thing though. Plug in 0, 0, so that's 0, minus 0, which is 0, 0, 0, dot. 1, 1 squared is 1. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, so that's 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so 1, negative 3, put a dot. Plug in 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 4 is negative 8, so it's 4 minus negative 8 is negative 4. 2, negative 4. You just keep plotting the points in, and you get yourself a parabola. You know it's a parabola because it has that x squared.